what's going on everyone Chris here with clutter reduction junk removal and today we are headed to a repeat client to remove some debris from the garage this is somebody who I did a job for about two weeks ago and she does carpet and tile installation and it was passed on to me by the realtor and professional organizer that I work with so closely they said that she's probably gonna be able to send you a ton of work and so far this is my second time using her in just three weeks and they said that they tore down another wall, so it's gonna be all the metal studs, which they already have separated, and then a bunch of bags of drywall and trash. That doesn't sound like there's really any tile, so it shouldn't be anything too heavy. I am going solo this time. Last time I brought my helper because though it was doable, the trash removal part, the beginning was a delivery. So I wanted to make sure I had somebody with me just to make sure we weren't banging up any high-end appliances, because that's what we ended up moving. So that's what we're doing today. Afterwards, I want to discuss a few new marketing strategies I'm going to try to push for within the next month and really kind of continue out throughout the year to kind of play for a test run for 2024. One of them is Google Ads. I know I'm one of those people that don't like paying for Google Ads. I still don't, but I have an idea behind it and I'm going to try to enforce that and see how it works out. The rest of 2023 is basically going to be a giant test. So I'll let you guys know a little bit more about that after the job. So stay tuned. All right, so the client just stepped out for a minute. Uh, apparently I hit myself at some point, awesome. <laughs> so, so far going pretty well. It's been like 20 minutes. I have all the bags all thrown into the speed packs. When I get to dump, I can just roll them right off. They're pretty old and water beaded and they've been sitting in the trailer for like three months. <laughs> so I'm just gonna throw them out along with the bag. So I'll be in and out of the dump in literally like a minute. Um, all of the metal, of course, we're going to scrap. That's why I'm loading it all towards the end. I'm actually going to stop home, drop it all off. This is working out pretty well. Did an X with the ratchet straps and threw the boxes down. So this doesn't keep trying to slide out while I'm trying to load. I don't want to close the gate because then if I throw it and it's off, it's going to be hard to get to. So that's a good idea. Just went ahead and offloaded all the metal on the trailer into my side yard. We had a nice little neat pile. This is all the aluminum up top here. This is from different jobs. I have basically just been keeping aluminum, copper, brass, and wire. So that's what I got going on here. I was going to actually run to the scrapyard today, but I think I'm actually going to go probably this weekend or next weekend. I'm going to wait until I have like a legitimate just full load of aluminum so I can actually make some decent monies off of it. All right guys so that job is completed. We went ahead and put all the metal on the side and we are back home and all situated. I actually filmed this video earlier in the Chipotle parking lot but there's a lot of stupid drivers and my commentary was just going off the charts and I got tired of editing all of the little situations so we're just going to redo this try to keep a little bit more concise. Now the things that we're going to be talking about is some of the new marketing strategies I'm pushing for. I've already started taking actions on some of them. Some of them I'm still kind of doing research on. And one of them is going to be an ongoing thing. The reason for doing them is I want to try to automate some of my processes for marketing so that way I can focus more of my time on other situations. So some of them are like a one-time pay and then like it just it's out there advertising. Some of them other people are doing, and some of them I still have to put work in, but I'm just kind of expanding the how it gets done. So the reason for wanting to do this is next year I want to grow a little bit. I want to pull on a couple of guys, maybe even make them part-time employees, I'll maybe one full-time employee, get a second truck and trailer, so that way I can run two crews at once, which means I need to get multiple insurances. They're going to cost a lot of money, so I have to make more money. 
and I wanted to do trailer rentals. I wanted to do that this year, but it looks like things are getting pushed back for reasons I don't want to get into. So that is kind of the game plan for next year. And I think I need to market more because I have been doing the same marketing since I started and I get by and the business gets by, but I'm not booming. And I would like to be booming at least a little. So <laughs> that's kind of the game plan. And some of these things I'm looking into are kind of iffy, but I just want to try them out. I know people who have done really well with them, and I know people who have said, ah, never, don't bother with it. Well, you don't know until you try. So starting off, the first thing I'm looking into is newsletters for communities. This is actually something I considered in the past, and I just never finalized it. But I have four communities that I have already been in contact with. Two of them I met through people I've met at networking groups in the past. So I have a little bit of an aim with them. And essentially you're looking at about a business card size advertisement for each one that's the cheapest you can do. And then you can of course upgrade to a larger size, but it's pretty much 75 bucks a month to start. My idea is to start off with the minimum. And if I even just get one call, I will increase my size. And if I get a booked job, I will continue that size every month. The reason I'm only going to try to get one call is I just want to make sure people are looking at it. So of all the newsletters I looked at, none of them have junk removal on them, first of all. But they're kind of advertising sprinkled in throughout the newsletter. They're not like at the very end of like page 100, but they're just sprinkled in throughout. I want to make sure people are actually getting through it enough to where they see my number. So that's a game plan. And I'm going to do that with all the communities. They're all 900 to 1400 plus uh, houses or apartments or both. So it's a pretty good size pool to kind of play with here. And that's something that the way I look at things is the moment I can get into a place, I now just opened up my options. So I can get a repeat client. I can get referrals, right? I can hand them a couple business cards and say, hey, pass these out to your neighbors when you get a chance. I can drive around the community. I can park out by the entrance and exit and have people drive by and take pictures of the truck and trailer. I can go in and talk to the front desk of the property manager and say, hey, I just got done doing a job here. I'm in a newsletter. Just want to go ahead and extend my service to you, to you know anyone in your office if you ever need me. I know you have bulk trash on Thursdays. But if you guys ever need anything done specifically, maybe a more labor side of junk removal, I'd be happy to help you. So that's how I like to look at things. Once you get in, now you can expand. Getting in is the hard part, though. That's what she said. So that's the first thing. The next thing is bus stop benches. I know we've all seen them. We've thought about them. Some of us have tried them. Some of us will probably never do it. I was always thought I'd never do it. But I know somebody who did it. And he got a lot of business from it. So I kind of want to give it a shot. I have a couple specifically in mind that have kind of caught my eye over the months. It's pretty much 125 to 150 a month, depending on the location. And the way I see it as it's basically a giant yard sign that legally cannot get pulled out of the ground. So I'm going to try that out and I'll let you guys know what happens with that. The third thing is events. So if you saw my Instagram post a couple of weeks ago, I did a, an event from somebody I met through a networking group and it was free because it was kind of like a small little thing. She just kind of gave me a free trial. I handed out 37 business cards, got a couple of calls, got an inquiry from someone specifically in that neighborhood, which seems like a pretty big coincidence, but they said they found me online. And I haven't booked any jobs off of that that I know of, but... I think it would be a fun kind of new way to market just to kind of help get my name out there a little bit. And my objective is there's another one coming up at the end of this month. It's 250 bucks. It's a four hour event. And on average, I usually pull in well over a hundred people. So I think I'm going to try it out for like one or two months just to see how it goes. If I book some jobs of it, awesome. I'll keep doing it. If not, I'll kind of put a little bit more thought into whether or not I want to continue. The third thing is something we're actually heading into shortly, which is a networking group. This is a group I've had contact with in the past as a guest. I know two of the people in that group and it meets once a week in my city and I welcome to go to other cities for the different meetings, but I'll probably just stick to mine. 
This one is not like a BNI per se. It's a little bit more relationship based, uh, a little bit more with like kind of helping you build yourself as a character, as a business. And then of course you can network on top of that. So I just think I'll get a little bit more value out of that. That's a little bit higher quality than just a simple BNI. And then the last thing is Google Ads. If you've watched me for a while, I don't like Google Ads. I don't like paying for them. I've done them twice, minimal amounts both times. From what I have learned over time, you need a couple of months to kind of get the ball rolling and you need to be investing at least $75 a day, which is $1,500 a month, which I am not going to be doing yet. But I am basically going to spend the remaining of this year to put in a little bit, I'm not going to say the number, but a little bit to kind of get the ball rolling, work on my keywords and my negative keywords. And I am going to a very specific radius within my area. And if that works out, I'll bounce around to different places I want to work at a five mile radius, sometimes even a three mile radius. And I have a reason for it. I want to see if it works. And then next year, if all goes well, I'll put a little bit more money into each thing because as money comes back in, I can kind of repeat the process and you know, rinse and wash, rinse and wash. So that is what we have going on. And those are some of the new things I'm kind of looking into. So let me know down below if you do Google Ads as a smaller business, not like investing thousands of dollars a month. If you're on the smaller side, let me know. You don't have to tell me how much, but just let me know something that's worked for you and that you've noticed. And then also comment down below if you have done any sort of newsletters or the bus stop benches. Kind of want to hear your thoughts on those. If you think they are shitty, keep it to yourself. I've already been skeptical of it myself for the last two years. I don't need your nonsense. But if you have something positive to say about it, please do comment down below. So I will see you guys probably tomorrow morning. We are going to Palm Beach Island to do a junk removal for a repeat client. And I'm going to probably do a ghost route after and then handle some other junk removal stuff. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.